Yo guys, before we start this video, I do want to let you guys know, uh, as I've told you probably a million times this week, my code on gfuel.com is 30% off right now. So if you guys go to the G Fuel store, go grab a starter pack. If you guys have never tried G Fuel before, you get a shaker cup and a bunch of flavors for like 15 bucks. And if you use my code, then I think it's like... 15 with shipping on it so it's a great deal make sure you guys definitely go take advantage of that they got brand new shakers and two brand new flavors over there so make sure you guys definitely go check that out and if you guys use the link down in the description below all you guys are gonna do is click that link add the items to your cart go to checkout and at checkout you guys don't even need to put in my code because you use that link the code will already be in there for you so you guys just literally have to go to checkout and then just pay for everything you guys don't even have to type the f o x y code the foxy code you know you guys don't even need to do that if you guys want to support me even further it's greatly appreciated and it helps me out a lot so Let's get into today's video. What is going on YouTube? Foxy Group coming to you guys today with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the Galil in every Call of Duty. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Make sure you guys use discount code Foxy at gfield.com for 30% off your order. Follow all of my social medias down in the description below. My Twitter, my Instagram, my Twitch, all that stuff. Gfuel and all my social medias are down in the description below. Make sure you guys go hit me with a follow on those. And without further ado, let's go, bros. Alrighty, so we got the original Galil here in Black Ops 1. I got some extended mags on it, and I'm actually running, uh, okay, well, running and getting RPG'd. This gun is so good. It's so, so good. <laughs> and this game is so good. We're going to use it with the silencer on it, and we're going to use it with, oh, cool, that was a nice triple. Nice. I like it. I like it a latte. We're going to throw that over there. Both of you are dead. And then you're dead. And then you're dead. Holy shit, what the fuck? Okay. Blackbird. Got him, and we got a... Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? Okay, well, I guess, um... I don't really know where to go. Yikes! No, 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 no! Oh my god. Alright, we're just gonna throw this chopper out. Shit, I didn't crouch. Fuck. Alright, it's all good. We're gonna throw this chopper out. God damn it, dude. Couldn't get anything going. That's crazy. I didn't even get any kills with that. Don't even think about it. Killing frenzy. Double kill. Nice! We got dogs. Let's go, baby. Let's get it, man. Hell yeah. Let's go. We got dogs. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm so happy we got dogs just there. The Galil on Black Ops 1 is one of the best guns in the game, without a doubt. It's one of mo one of the most iconic guns in the game, too. And I gotta say, man, it's just... Oh, it's so good. I think he's gonna wait for me to come up. Ah, fuck. It's all good. No worries. Well, I guess... I mean, I'll use the Galil with the silencer, too, because we're gonna be using the Galil without the silencer and with the silencer. You, you just can't... You can't... You can't have a Galil video without the silencer on it, you know? And I always say that. You can't have a Galil video without the silencer. Fuck, fuck. I suck ass, dude. Alrighty. And we're still in firing range because people don't know how to pick other maps. But it's all good. We're gonna use the silencer on the Galil. I'm not gonna go that way. Hold on. Oh my, he's using last stand. What a noob. Get out of here. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Shit. Did not mean to do that. Hold on. We're gonna wait. We're gonna... Dude, get out of last stand, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. The silence Galil putting in that work. No! Alright, so in Black Ops 2, the Galil is not in multiplayer, sadly. I know that really sucks in my opinion. But it is in campaign and zombies. I don't have any zombies footage of the Galil, but I do have campaign footage. Yeah. So in the campaign, you can use it. I think it's like the third or fourth mission when you start riding the horses. That's freaking awesome. So this is some gameplay. You get a bunch of attachments with it. There is a silencer attachment. Thank the Lord. When I was playing this the other day, I noticed that 
Treyarch games seem to all have some similar sounding gun. That's why the Galil sounds different between Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and Black Ops 4. And honestly, I can appreciate that a little bit. I don't have to be so harsh on the sound design as much. But even though, you know, I, I do prefer the Black Ops 1 sound. But I think it's really, really cool how each game has their own designated sound for the same weapon, if that makes sense. So that's in Black Ops 2. So let's head on over to Black Ops 3. All right, so we're on Black Ops 3 now. We're not on my account because I don't have any of the DLC weapons. Well, I, I do, but I don't have the Galil. So thank you so much to my man Q for letting me use your account, bro. I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys go subscribe to QZ. I'll leave his link down in the description below. It's going to be at the very top. So yeah, let's get right into the Black Ops 3 Galil. All right, so we're on Black Ops 3. And as you guys just saw, the Galil was first brought into Black Ops 1. And we're going to use this gun without the silencer first. And then we're going to use the silencer on it. Because, I mean, you just can't use a Galil without the silencer, in my opinion. Oh my god, there's so many people right here. Hell yeah. Oh, there's one more. Ah, let's go quad feed. Let's get it there, bros. I like it. I like it a latte. It's very weird playing with this gun after I played Black Ops 4 and used the gun on Black Ops 4. Nope, you just got turned on there, bro. I just tried to stem shot. What the fuck? So, the Galil in Black Ops 3 was a DLC weapon. It was not in the base game. I don't know, man. I just think that the weapons locked behind the drops in this game really, really turned me off when I started playing this game. I, I didn't even know what supply drops were because, you know, I was new to this type of Call of Duty. I, I hadn't played Advanced Warfare, and it just wasn't my cup of tea, personally. I, w I didn't play Advanced Warfare, and I came into the second life cycle of Black Ops 2. Like, right when IW released, or was about to release, and I had no idea what supply drops were, what crypto keys were, none of that shit, man. Like, I had no idea. Alright, we got a Cerberus. That's nice. I wish we had a VSAT, or a Blackbird up. What gun did he have? The 44 Dredge? Alright, well, I, I guess this'll do. Uh, we're like a couple off. A couple off wraps. A couple off wraps. Nice! Let's go, baby. We got reps. Let's get it. Even though I didn't really get it with the... I mean, like, I got the last kill with the dredge, but whatever. You know, there's no... There we go. Yeah. Q doesn't have scavenger on his class, so... It's just... Yeah. It's just insane. So, all right. Well, I guess we'll use the silencer real quick. Because you can't have a Galil video without the Galil silencer, you know? Alrighty. Let's do it here, bros. We got the silenced Galil, and I didn't put on scavenger again, and I'm just an idiot. Double kill. Nope. And we're we're outie. We're outie 5000. No! Oh, you're dead. It's all good. So the silenced Galil, like I said before, you can't just do a Galil in every Call of Duty video without the silenced Galil. The silencer on a Galil is, if I could quote my man Hidden Xperia, iconic. It's iconic, dude. It's it's so memorable and iconic. And you just, whenever you think Galil, or at least for me, whenever I think Galil, I think silencer automatically, especially in Black Ops 1. I mean, I don't, I don't really know about, you know, Black Ops, you know, 3 or BO4. Wow, that was actually a really nice shot by me. Good job. Hold on. There's one. Double kill, triple kill. Holy shnikes. Let's go there, bros. That's what I like to see. Nope. Spree. Oh my goodness. We're just shredding these noobs. Oh, thank God. Holy shit. I was really scared that he was going to snipe me. Woo, we got a Cerberus. You know, now, if we could get the wraps with just the Galil, that would be awesome. Oh, fuck. All right, we got 29 bullets left. Okay, there's another. And then I just need... Okay, so my Cerberus is dead, so I need to get a kill. Bruh. 
Oh my god, no fucking way, dude. Are you- are you fucking kidding me? Welcome, Thank god. Oh my god, dude. Now this is gonna be real quick. I know that this was never in Modern Warfare Remastered, but it was leaked, so I feel like I have to cover it. Back in 2017, when Modern Warfare Remastered was released, there was a bunch of leaks showing guns like the PP-2000, the Striker, the Galil, the uh, M240, the Dragon of... with. I think it was from like the MW2 campaign and the FAL from MW2. All these were leaked, but none of these guns actually came into Modern Warfare Remastered. But we do have an image of, I, I hope I can show this. Is it, is it legal to show this? I really hope it is. Well, if it, if it is legal, then you'll see it on the screen. But if it's not, then you won't. And I'll leave the link to the image down in the description below. But yeah, the Galil from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 was leaked for Modern Warfare Remastered, but it was never implemented, which I thought was very odd. Anyways, let's move on to some... Black Ops 4. Alrighty. So, I gotta, I gotta peeve. Or like, I, it's not really like a peeve. I just gotta, I have something to point out. I think it's really weird how ever since Black Ops 3, the, uh, the quick draw hasn't been the same. I think that's really weird. But, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not gonna sit here and trip completely about it. But I do think it's really odd how in Black Ops 3, and I think Infinite Warfare, I can't remember, the, the quick draw attachment was like, really nice it was really nice you know i could run and then i could quick draw real quick or i could ads and then it would be boom quick and obviously from quick draw but now it's like it's not even like that anymore it's weird Double kill. all right we're gonna grab two tags here and yeah, peek back through we're actually gonna throw this up up oh, there's a guy Hey there, buddy. So, the Galil in Black Ops 4. Now, the Galil was a part of a community challenge in Black Ops 4, and that's all fine and dandy. But... Oy, those shots were a little shaky there, bros. There we go. But I'm really trying to get this uh, gold camo on this gun as well. And although it was a part of a community challenge, I I'm, I'm kind of upset about it, to be honest. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not upset that it was part of a community challenge. I feel like these guns, at least this gun and the MP40, should have been in this game at launch. And, you know, that, that rubs me the wrong way a little bit, but that's okay there, bros. We got it now, and there's really no reason to nitpick ab about that. I mean, there is, but eh, we're not going to. It's okay. Hey there, buddy. Let me grab your tags. Ooh, we're smoking them today, bros. We're gonna run this way. Oh, nope, no one's going that way. Okay. Okay, we're gonna check check our corners. We're gonna check right here. He's gonna he's gonna run all the way to here. And no, he's not. He's gonna wait down there. Is he waiting for me? No, he's not. Oh my god, yes he is. Is there anyone that's coming down this way? Yep, there's one guy. Double kill. And there's two, and there's three. Oh man, nice little three piece there, bros. Nice, I like it. We got a snipper's nest. A little sniper's nest. Oh no, get your dumb ass back here, bro. Yikes. Ooh. Frenzy. Nice, I like it. We're on a merciless. That's a killing frenzy. So they're probably gonna sit in the church. So we're gonna run over to the church. And we're gonna see what we can get. I'm gonna pull out my tempest real quick. Gotcha. Hold on. Two. Nice. Okay, so I don't know where they're gonna be at. Um. Fight! No! That sucks. <laughs> all good, all good, all good. All right, now we got the silencer on the Galil. This is some nostalgia. Because we're on Nuketown as well. It's fucking great. And I just got destroyed. The Galil silencer, as I've said before, is just an iconic. It's just nostalgic, man. It's so fun. It's so great. In my opinion, it's just one of the, one of the, I don't know, man. It's one of the best things about Black Ops games, in my opinion. When the Galil isn't locked behind a fucking paywall, but, you know, uh, quote-unquote Black Ops 3. Nope. Alright, let me put this on. Arr. Nope. Okay, thank God that guy missed. Thank the Lord. Oh my God. Leave me alone. Oh my god, let's go there, bros. Knew that was gonna happen. 
get a hellstorm. No fucking way, dude! Oh my god, he fucking dodged it just in the nick of time. Holy shnikes. Guys, let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite gun in the Black Ops series? Mine is most likely the Commando from Black Ops 1. I just had so many good times with that map. Oh, well, not that map. Holy shit. I had so many good times and good memories with that gun. And that and the G11, I would say. Those are great guns from the Black Ops series. And the FAMAS. And, you know, I, you guys know I didn't really play BO2 in its prime. Or BO3 in its prime, actually. Now that I think about it. Which is kind of crazy to think about. But who knows? Maybe we'll see those guns in Black Ops 5. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy the Galil in every Call of Duty. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. What's your favorite Galil in every Call of Duty? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave a like down below. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Use code FOXY on gfield.com for 30% off your order. That offer ends July 1st. Or, yeah, July 1st. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.